Good evening, welcome to the news tonight at 6, tonight, main stories, Northern Ireland COVID passport, Justice Minister Naomi Long hit by, misogynistic, abuse after vote. Also tonight, I'm a celebrity 2021, he's just fit isn't he? Emmerdale star Danny Miller reveals man crush on, good looking, French football ace David Ginola, 54. And more. Hello, I'm English US Northern Ireland's Justice Minister, Naomi Long, has said that, social media needs to do better, after she became a target of abuse online. Naomi Long was targeted with abuse on social media on Wednesday evening after the Stormont executive agreed plans to roll out a COVID-19 certification scheme. Health Minister Robin Swan was also targeted in sinister graffiti in the last week. On Sunday, Ms. Long tweeted that she was grateful for the support and solidarity. She said, I'm strong, with an amazing support network of people who love and respect me. Anyone who thinks bullying will break me clearly doesn't know me. Northern Ireland Secretary, Brandon Lewis, was among the political leaders who this week expressed solidarity with Ms. Long. The Sinn Féin Vice President, Michelle O'Neill, also tweeted, The misogynistic abuse and harassment of women online is deplorable. Ms. Long indicated that social media companies need to do more hold those who commit online abuse accountable. I do worry for young women, growing up surrounded by misogyny, sexism, bullying and body shaming, who might not survive such a pylon. I worry for women who have a contribution to make to public life, but will see the treatment dished out to others and think twice. I worry for the women who share their lives with those involved in orchestrating such hateful behavior. A thick skin shouldn't be a prerequisite for public life. We shouldn't have to toughen up. Social media needs to do better. Bullies need to be held accountable. She added, Tomorrow, I'll be doing my job as always. I will not be deflected. I will not be bullied. I will not give anyone that power over me. The executive was divided over COVID-19 certification, with the DUP voting against the plan. The other four executive parties backed a proposal from Mr. Swan that will see legal enforcement of COVID-19 certification entry requirements for nightclubs, bars, restaurants and a range of other settings from December 13. Hundreds of people gathered in Belfast City Center on Saturday to protest against the plan. The crowd gathered outside City Hall, with many people carrying anti-vaccine and anti-COVID certification placards and banners. Another news, the revelation came as fellow contestant Richard Madeley failed to light a fire and David, 54, came to the rescue and managed to get one going. This caused Emmerdale star Danny, 30, to say of the French footballer, David Ginola is a bit of an icon to me. Still like so cool and good looking. I hope I look like him at his age because he is just fit isn't he? Plus 10 bromance on the cards. Danny Miller, 30, admitted to having a man crush on David Ginola, 54, in the first episode of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here on Sunday Night. Danny, Arlene Phillips, Naughty Boy, Richard, and David were the The Clink, where they had to stay because they lost their respective challenges earlier on in the show. The Clink is a new feature on the show and is a tiny space where the celebrities will be banished if they lose challenges. Next tonight, former Ireland footballer Kevin Kilbin and his wife Brianne Delcourt are expecting their second child together. This happy news comes just two years after they met while training together for the 2020 series of Dancing on Ice. And finally, Blankety Blank this evening has certainly riled up viewers. Bradley Walsh was at it as per usual, giving fans what they want with his witty quips. Now, Lee has the weather.